Falcon. Crocodile. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia, and today I thought I'd show you what is in my distraction box. So a few nights ago now, I filmed a clip where I was using this. I'm not sure it's still on my camera though. But basically, I was, show I was using it, and I was recorded me using it. Today, I thought I'd give you a pretty in-depth look into what I've got in mind. But before I get into that, I am doing a giveaway of one custom, completely custom. You tell me what you want, and I will go shopping just for you. This competition, I'm doing a giveaway because I hit 5k on here. All you have to do is be subscribed. The competition is linked down below. It's all done through Gleam so you, you can see everything you can do to gain and follow and be a part of the giveaway. The more times you interact with me on social media the more you get towards winning. Yes I am keeping track also in a notebook of all the comments, every username. I've got a little tally next to each username so I do know who is doing what. So if you want to be part of that the link's down below. Make sure you're subscribed because I will be announcing it on YouTube and Twitter only. So I have two boxes. This one I got like my toiletries and change of clothes, bits of makeup and just generalised like health, like body care stuff. Here's where the, the toys are. So let's start with this box. I've got half a hairbrush in here. It's one of the ones that normally has a mirror on it but obviously because my last admission, the mirror got taken off. We then have a pile of face masks and hair sample stuff so it's got like sample, shampoo, conditioner and all that stuff. We then have these two things which are eye coolers. You put them in the fridge and then you can put them on your eyes and it just relaxes everything. I've got an, one of my Anastasia lip glosses. I've got some eyeshadow words that I've got no mirrors with so they're suitable. I've got a t-shirt and some tight like leggings. I've got a mini conditioner, a plastic bottle spray because you can't have glass when you're on a ward. I've got one makeup brush just so I can put the eyeshadow on. I've got mouthwash, tea, roll on deodorant, hand cream, lollipop, hand warmer so they're hand warmers you will they just warm up. This is shampoo, this is just mouth spray. This is a soap bar, and that's pretty much it for this. Now we're going to move on to this box. This box is currently empty, I took everything out. So I could show you guys what I have. So I've got one notebook. Uh, I tend to get my notebooks from the works because they're cheaper, they're affordable, and they don't have the ribbon in the spine, and there's no staples, so you're allowed that. I have a book, which for me, I've got one that's about unicorns. Very me, if I'm being honest. This is about as me as you can get. I have this sketching thing that's got a few pencils and something to draw on. I have these little friendship cards that Louise sent me and shout out to Louise. I'm gonna link Louise's channel down below. Love Louise's content. She currently posts loads on TikTok so I'm gonna recommend you go check that out too. Again, link down below. So then we get on to the new puzzle toys. So I got this, which is one that you spin round and it's a puzzle. It's like a spinny Rubik's Cube. I have my little maze thing. I've had this in here for ages. I, I love stuff like that. I have this, which is a circular like Rubik's Cube. Loud, distracting. I love it. Moving on, I've got this little camera and my mini charging cable. The reason I have this in here is because sometimes I find talking to a camera helpful. Why don't I want to get out my big camera that I'm using right now? Or if I don't have my phone on me for some reason, I've got a mini camera. I don't know, it's just one of my things that I like having. I also put in a sleeping mask because you'll know I like my sleep. And in ward, like, they, they check on you and the lights wake me up all the time, so having a face mask, highly recommend it. I have some Orbeez. Not sure if I'd be allowed these on a ward or not. I don't think they're toxic, so I think I would be. But I have all these in here. What I should point out is I have my box ready for admission and at home because if I get taken to A&E, right here I've got my pens and everything. Like, I've got pens, got glow stick. But I have this box ready for it just in case an emergency admission happens. I've got some stuff to do and distract myself with and a change of clothes. That's the main important thing for me. I have in, I got a new ball. My old ball got a bit destroyed. Last time I was in the hospital so I ripped all the ease bits off. So I got a new one. I just got this from the works. Honestly, I'd highly recommend going into the works if you're trying to build a distraction box because they have loads of pretty cool stuff. I have a freezable reusable ice cube. My slingy. Slingies are fun. Again, wouldn't be allowed this in hospital but at home it's great. I have my old iPhone which is not capable of reading SIM cards and can't connect to the internet. I have this in here just in case I want to play games, listen to music, etc. Because obviously it's got a headphone jack. And speaking of headphones, 
I have my Bluetooth headphones in here because obviously when you're in hospital you're not allowed to have cable, long cables anyway. I've got them which are Bluetooth so I can listen to music. Trying to fit everything into this box is a challenge. So don't remind me on my next student loan to buy a bigger box. Um, so carrying on, I also keep another hairbrush in here just because the other one's not really that great, you know, like, obviously. I then have sand animals. Now I love my sand animals. I have three different ones. I have a seahorse and two lizards. This was my first ever sand animal, which is why I have it in there. I wanted one for years and then I finally got one and I was so happy. And one of the only happy associations I really have with my childhood. I keep that in there. We then have squishies because they're great, they fit in, you know. I have a textured tangle toy. This is the one I keep in here. I do have other tangle toys as well. I have a light up ball. You might notice that I've got a lot of like fidgety toys. My favourite thing. The light up unicorn bubbles plasters i keep in there because worst case scenario i need plaster i have coloring crayons all my coloring books are kept next to they're actually on that shelf there they're kept next to where i keep my distraction boxes so i just grab one of them if i was ever taken to hospital from here i have this little mini aqua beads thing which is small again it's a small little activity we have a little nice card thing that i got in a thing that i ordered i have loads of little, these little fiddly things that I keep in because I like they remind me of my little sister and they make me very happy so I keep them in here then also I have fiddle cubes I put this one in my distraction box and then this one's in my handbag then like stationary wires I keep some sticky notes in because sticky notes are useful believe me like you get told so much information when you're in wards you need fucking sticky notes then I put my actual crisis plan on top I also have this mini mini Rubik's cube it's like a cube I hate I hate Rubik's cubes but sometimes I need to release anger in Rubik's Cubes for me. The best way for me to release anger. And then on top of all of that, I put this bag. This is where I keep them. So I keep my main disruption box here. On top here, there are just some positivity cards. Colouring boxes are next to it. My mental health box. And then my other box is there. This box here has got my scrapbooking stuff in. And I just keep that there because if I did need to, they are easy enough to just grab or tell someone to get. And also on here I'd say get my DBT book and possibly this book and this book. They're the books that I'd choose to take in if I went into hospital. I'd also choose possibly this one because it's coming so short my old support worker got it me and it's a really good read. If you're new, subscribe! I'm doing a giveaway and I'm doing a giveaway of a crisis box basically and it's fully custom to what you want so that's linked in the description down below ignore the fact that i've got a collapsed vein on my arm um that's a long story but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon peace